Welcome back to That LA Garage. I'm Noam. Today we're going to be working on this GT2 RS converted from a 911 Turbo 996. Really cool car, 1000 horsepower. But it has an issue and it came here for, for me to fix the issue. Let me show you what it, what it has, uh, what I've done till now. And it's going to be a short video. We're not showing you step by step, but we're just showing you the havoc that a 1000 horsepower can have to a transmission. So I finished rebuilding the transmission. I just need to finish uh, tightening up and putting the, the differential back into that. But that's, that's not the thing. Why did, I tra why did I have to rebuild the transmission? Is because of this. This, I, I had to put it on video because I've never seen anything like that, like this before. The third gear literally exploded. I've never seen it. I've seen gears shear like that. I've never seen. I've never seen a gear. It exploded. Look, this this side is gonna crack. Is has a crack in it too, inside there. That's crazy. So what causes this? Yes, power. Of course, the power. But how do you prevent this? Because uh, there's other cars that have a thousand horsepower and they're not doing this. So what created the problem? So when you get a car like this in and have a problem like this, you fix the problem, put it back together. It's going to happen again if you don't change anything. So you have to look into it and figure out why. So this, this thing was using a spec clutch and it has an unsprung uh, disc the unsprung is too harsh it's way too harsh it's uh, for drivability also it's just very you know hard to uh, hard to drive really it's just very rough there's no give in the transmission so um, what do you do why did they have to go through this clutch this clutch they went through this clutch because of it's a uh, really I, I mean I'm assuming it's a relatively uh, cheap clutch that can hold power. I think it can hold like 700 or 800 horsepower without any issues. But because it's made and made with no springs in the center hub, I'm going to show you one that's sprung. This one is sprung. So what that does is the main shaft goes in here of the of the of the transmission, and it, there's a buffer that it's not directly connected to the clutch. The motor and transmission are separated by that spring that it gives it that give. And that's very important for that type of thing. So when you shift hard, let go of the clutch, it's not literally, it's literally, it's like you're taking a sledgehammer with a thousand horsepower and just smashing it. So instead of doing that, you're putting a buffer, you're putting like a spring right in between. You can smash it, but the initial bite will soften the blow. So what we're doing with this is we're doing, we're putting a twin plate uh, from Promotive. I'll give him a shout out over here. Um, I have to yet assemble it. So there's two friction discs. I'll talk to you about a different one, if anything. Uh, it gives you extra surface material. This is one that I more common, uh, I more commonly use in the racing applications. We use uh, Exedi uh, twin plate. That ha there's uh, two plates in there, and there's a floater disc that's in between. It's a it's a nice small package, and it could hold a lot of power. That that one is rated for a four. Those that's actually not from a uh, nine uh, a nine eleven. It's from that one's from a Mitsubishi Evo, and that one's good for like nine hundred horsepower, no problem. So 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 that's that. So that's it, really. <laughs> Short ass video. So that was something I wanted to just uh, show you guys because I you know, stumbled upon it. I should have videotaped the rebuild of this transmission. Um, it's 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 a complicated transmission, uh, one of the more complicated transmissions to rebuild, but they're they're doable. Uh, this one was a 
uh, one out of a turbo, so the case is from a turbo and has the splines for the drive shaft. But uh, it it was rebuilt previously with uh, GT2 RS uh, gears in it, and so it's a different gear ratio. And I think they're cryo treated. I'm not sure. It has also an upgraded uh, differential and uh, billet cover. So. So obviously this car is not, not a stock car. I'll show you a little bit uh, in, in between, on the bottom. You got uh, two 35R turbos, external wastegate, exhaust is like, I don't know, six, 16 inches long on each side. It's very raw. So um, I'm just uh, gonna finish tidying this thing back up and then start installing the clutch and uh, putting it back in the car. Till, uh, till next time, uh, if you're new, new to this channel, please uh, subscribe, like, follow, and uh, comment down below if you get any questions, any ideas of other uh, videos to, 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 to post up. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. If you ain't got haters, you ain't popping.